Hey y'all, Chelsea here with Let's Talk. Today let's break down the present perfect continuous tense. First, let's start with reviews, okay? First up, present perfect tense. We use present perfect for something that started in the past and it's still true. So, for example, I met my best friend, let's see, 26 years ago. I'm still friends with her. We have been friends for 26 years. It started in the past, our friendship, it's still true. We use present perfect for this situation. Present continuous. Is for an action happening right now. I am standing, I am talking, you are watching a video. So present perfect continuous is going to be a combination of these two things, okay? So present perfect continuous is for an action that started in the past. and it's still happening. Still happening, an action that started in the past and that action, activity, is still going on. So let's talk form, all right? The form of present perfect continuous is gonna be a combination of present perfect and present continuous. Present perfect is formed with has or have plus the past participle. Present continuous is formed with to be plus an ing verb. Present perfect continuous is going to be has or have plus the past participle of to be. Do you know the past participle of to be is am are? Been. Has or have been and then our ing verb. Has or have been blanking. So I stood up. 15 minutes ago. I am still standing right now. I have been standing for 15 minutes. This is an action, an activity that's happening. Started in the past, it's still happening. I have been standing for 15 minutes. You have been listening to me for five minutes, maybe. So an action and that length of time, how long it's been happening. So it's a little confusing because has or have and been are both the auxiliary verbs. In the past, we've only ever had one auxiliary verb. So this is a little different. We have two auxiliary verbs here. Then that ing verb is actually our main verb. So we can make these sentences negative. I have not been 
standing for 30 minutes. I've been standing for 15 minutes. And we can also do a contraction. I haven't been standing for 30 minutes. Or you haven't been standing, she hasn't been standing. Not will go between our two auxiliary verbs. Uh, to make a question, same word order as always. I could ask, Have you been practicing soccer? Where we've got that first auxiliary verb, have, subject, the rest of the verb, and our object or other. And if we want an info question, we'll put the question word at the beginning. Where? Have you been practicing soccer? Um, so in addition to this length of time, an activity that started in the past is still happening, we have another usage for present perfect continuous. And that is an activity that has happened many times recently. So, uh, let's imagine uh, Amy likes horseback riding. Alright, so she went horseback riding a week ago. She went horseback riding five days ago. She went horseback riding yesterday. She went horseback riding this morning. She's been going horseback riding a lot lately. We can use present perfect continuous. Amy has been going horseback riding. a lot lately. In the near past, this has happened a bunch of times. Uh, maybe he has been wearing his jersey every day for a week. This repeated action multiple times. He has been wearing his jersey every day for a week. So, Present perfect continuous. We use an action that started in the past and it's still happening, or something that's been happening a lot recently. There is a little overlap with present perfect, but in general, present perfect continuous is a shorter period of time. Present perfect is a long period of time, like years or months. Present perfect continuous is like minutes or maybe days. Also, don't forget, there are some verbs that we can't use in a continuous tense. We call those stative verbs. These are verbs that don't express an action. Um, so, something like have, feel, hear, it's, it's not an action, we call these stative verbs. We can't do them in any continuous tense, present continuous or present perfect continuous. We would just use regular present perfect for these. So, I couldn't say... I have been having my cat for an hour. 
because to have is, is a state of verb, it's not an action. We would just say, I have had my cat for an hour. Alrighty guys, that's all I've got for you today on present perfect continuous tense. Don't forget, it's not nerdy being wordy. Let's talk again soon.